Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to show you how to do a full factory reset on your Fitbit Charge 5. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to show you how to do a full factory reset and remove all of your user data from your Fitbit Charge 5. Now, this particular version here, we have the always on display. So for those of you that don't have that, you'll need to tap the screen twice to get the display to come up. Once you've got the display up and it's active, all you'll need to do then is to scroll down from the top menu until you find the settings cog, which you'll find here, and tap the screen. And then in the settings menu, you want to scroll down or swipe up and go all the way down until you find device info and then tap the screen. In device info, we've got system info, regulatory, and clear user data. Now this effectively is a full factory reset and also it's gonna clear your data. So clear user data, tap on that screen, and this tells you now, this clears your data and disconnects your device from your phone. Any unsynced data will be lost, removed, gone. So in order to do that, you have to hold the screen or tap the screen and hold it for three seconds. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And there is a bar around the outside edge. And that should go all the way around. If for some reason you don't press it and hold it for long enough, it will revert back. So let's try that again. Just keep pressure on the screen. Keep it held until the screen turns off. And then we've got the Fitbit logo on the screen. Now you'll have to wait a little while while the device actually erases all the data on it and does effectively a factory reset. So there we go, it's come back up and it's showing the actual date of the last firmware. And it says now to download the Fitbit mobile app. So this is basically ready for you to start your reconnection to the device. So if you're passing this on to a new user or you're selling the device or returning it for repair, etc., this is what you wanna try and do before you send it back. So hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And also if you want to see more content on this on a daily basis, hit that subscribe button and the notification chime and you'll have new videos in your feed daily. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.